What was that? It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers. Sam, it's my summer office! I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will not stand! I'm guessing they couldn't fit a television on there. A true weasel scout would keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared. Be very prepared. We choose to go to the gift shop and buy this snow globe, not because it is pretty, but because it is cheap. Whoever chose this lamp was taking liberties with the concept of good taste. Things to do in Dallas. Hi, I'm George Washington. Shove your nuts in my mouth and I'll crack them. Please don't make fun of nuts. Having 50 of these pillows would make the place a lot more comfy. We could build a fort! This far in the past, I assumed the earth was still flat. It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with the frame. The father of our country. Annals of Americana. Hi there, random secret service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before, and there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. Oh, Superball! I get it! Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam, our mission is clear. Nuke the commie bastard! I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. What do you think of the president? He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. Heard any good gossip about the president? Extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants, stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. How long have you been working for the White House? Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We want to hear you narrate a public service announcement. All right. Are your cigarettes killing you? As unbelievable as it might seem, cigarettes made outside the U.S. actually contain chemicals that are addictive and possibly even harmful. For your own safety and that of your children, smoke only homeland-grown tobacco, the kind doctors recommend for your good health. Now you know, for a better America.
we want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? It's a perpetual motion engine driven by racial tension. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. We'd like a tour of the office. Very well, sir. That's a desk. There's a couch. Another couch is there. A calendar. Some pictures. The door you see behind me is 100% northwestern white pine with an interior flat jam in. That's plenty, thanks. We want to hear another public service announcement. Do you know how to recognize a communist? Look for the telltale signs. All communists are double-jointed in their necks and elbows to aid them as they steal American secrets. Communists also secrete a brownish, viscous residue from their palms, which can be found on their homes, children, and pets. Now you know, for a better America. Just keep guarding that door. Gladly, sir. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? A sort of career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. We came here from the far-off future. Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. Oh, really? I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. All right, we give up. The man's a rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Whee! Hey, Super Bowl, would you mind spitting on this? It's for a science project. Can't, sir. I never spit, unless I'm startled or under extreme distress. If I remember my history correctly, today's the day of the pivotal rat peace accords. We'd better not disturb them. The Oval Office looks the same in our time as it did back in the 60s. Yeah, I was hoping you'd take that as a challenge from the other First Ladies, but you just never stepped up to the plate. I wonder who Mama Bosco's spit donor could be. This is crazy, sexy Washington, D.C. at the beginning of a cultural revolution, Sam. I bet there's more spitting going on than at a wine tasting. Super Bowl's as unshakably rock solid and dependable as ever. I think he needs a hug. Go to it, Sam. Ask me again in about 50 years. Hang loose, Daddy-o. Right on. It printed a time card with our logo on it. It's a time card for our office. 